The most popular building material for walling in India are burnt bricks. The present demand is estimated at 55 billion bricks per year. There is a huge gap in the supply of burnt bricks due to depleting clay resources and rising costs of energy. The production practices prevalent in the brick industry are energy intensive, resource intensive and highly polluting. All these negatives are compounded by cheap access to resources such as soil, water, coal, cow dung and biomass materials. This industry is organized regionally and controlled by powerful industry associations but the level of technology used is abysmally low. Brick production from clamps located all over the country are even worse. The highly polluting nature of brick kilns hit the national headlines in 1994 with the publication of a report commissioned by the Central Pollution Control Board. Subsequently, the Supreme Court of India issued directions for kiln operators to either adopt cleaner production technologies or face closure. The deadline for meeting new environmental performance standards was December 1997, later extended to June 1999. In Agra, the site of one of the seven wonders of the world, the Taj Mahal, brick production activities have been totally banned and kilns forced to close down. The emissions from brick kilns were causing extensive damage to the Taj Mahal. The initial response of the brick industry to the Supreme Court's directives was lukewarm. The regulatory authorities threatened action. And thereafter, the organized sector of brick production, responsible for up to 60% of the national brick production, started searching for solutions. Development Alternatives' quest for appropriate technology solutions led to the vertical shaft brick kiln or VSBK technology as a possible alternative. VSBK technology came to the fore in China with the construction of the first prototype kiln in 1958. Since 1989, the VSBK technology has been widely disseminated in China and there are more than 50,000 of these kilns in operation. Efforts to refine this technology have been made at the Energy Research Institute of the Henan Academy of Sciences at Zhengzhou. These pioneering efforts have resulted in an optimum design offering high energy efficiency, good quality brick production, and high economic viability of production. This is the ingenious design of the kiln. Dry molded bricks are loaded from the top of a shaft in batches. This batch stays in the shaft for 24 to 30 hours before it reaches the bottom of the shaft for unloading. In the middle of the shaft is the hottest zone, where the powdered coal loaded with the green bricks is ignited. The vertical design of the kiln lets all the heat generated be utilized. The heat from the central firing zone is used to preheat the green bricks just after they are loaded. The main advantages of the VSBK technology are, it represents a very energy efficient, low cost method of firing bricks. The quality of fired bricks is uniform with very low wastage. The kiln is not affected by variations in the weather as long as dry green bricks are available. The presence of more than one shaft allows for firing flexibility to cope with seasonal demand of bricks and economic variations in the market. The structure of this kiln is very compact, does not need a large area of land and can be built near the clay source. In China, the kilns are demolished and rebuilt using the same materials as and when the clay source is depleted. The Chinese VSBK experience has been a rather smoke-filled affair, which did not take into account the environmental impact of the technology. In China, the accent is on productivity, and scant attention is paid to environmental performance and operators' health and safety. The next stop of the VSBK technology was Pakistan. The first VSBK, set up in Peshawar in 1995, had limited success. Though a carbon copy of the Chinese design, the transplant failed to inspire demand among local brick operators. After Pakistan, it was India's turn to import this technology. The VSBK's passport to India was through the Action Research Program on Energy and Environmentally Efficient Production Technologies, sponsored by the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation. 
a fact-finding mission to Pakistan recommended that the VS Beaker technology should be introduced in India as a cleaner alternative to clamp scale production. It also recommended that the technology needed upscaling prior to its introduction in the organized sector in India. The first vertical shaft brick kiln was set up in Dathia in India by development alternatives in 1996. The original VS Beaker design introduced by the Chinese experts integrated the various aspects of cost-effective construction methods to achieve energy efficiency and economy of operations. The energy savings achieved at the first instance itself reduced the fuel consumption drastically. Compared to Bull's Trench kilns in the region, energy consumption is 30% less and compared to clamps, it is 50% less. The immediate priority of the project team was to achieve overall improvement of the local environment conditions and specific improvement in the workplace environment. The special measures that are now part of standard operating procedures include introduction of chimneys for each shaft, elevated roof with monitor for facilitating ventilation of the workplace, design of bypass circuits for the gases, operating cover for each shaft and increased shaft height. These measures have led to a cleaner workplace environment which meets all existing performance norms and conforms to environmental regulations. The Central Pollution Control Board in India has certified the VS Beaker technology as an environmentally clean alternative for the brick industry. The superior environmental performance has been made possible without compromising on the energy savings and the productive output of the kilns. Pilot kilns have been set up in all major zones with partners. Gram Vikas in the east, Comtrust in the south, Mitcon Damle in the west, and development alternatives in the north. In India, the journey from VSBK-1 to VSBK-5 has witnessed further refinements in the technology and continuous upscaling. Specific areas of improvement in the technology are brick molding through extrusion, additional safety measures like shaft covers and chimney dampers, and easy handling of fired bricks through special tongs. The procedures for capacity building and training have also been evolved. Presently, capacity for design, clay testing, construction, training of masons, firemasters and firemen, energy and environmental auditing exist within the implementing team. The kilns have been upscaled from 4,500 bricks per day in VSBK-1 to 9,000 bricks in VSBK-4. VSBK-1 has shafts of size 1 by 1 meter and 1 by 1 and a half meter, while VSBK-4 has shafts of size 1 by 2 meters and 1.25 by 2 meters. VSBK-5 is designed for four shafts with a production capacity of 15,000 bricks per day. The wide experience of VS Beaker technology in India has shown that the technology can be effectively upscaled and still be energy efficient and environmentally sound. At the scale of 15,000 bricks per day, the VS Beaker technology offers a viable alternative to existing brick production technologies. Its flexibility of scale and operation positions it uniquely to complement Bull's trench kiln technology.